All right, so welcome back here, ladies and gentlemen. <clears throat> and let's go ahead here now, and we'll go ahead and draw out our joints for Bender. Um, now, this isn't necessarily going to be that complex of a rigging um, joint chain, but we just need to make sure that we draw out our joint chain correctly so that our arms and our legs are going to bend properly. So let's go in here to our front view, and let's just draw out our joint um, chain here. So we want to make sure that we have one on the end of the uh, on the one um, one end of the arm, right where it's going to be able to bend. Okay, and then we want to make sure that we have one here, one for what is going to be the elbow, and I want to make sure that I draw it right in between where the indentation part of the the actual um, arm was extruded in one here okay one same thing uh, concept for where is our shoulder at and one at the end of the arm here so let's go in here and jump into our perspective view here we're gonna go ahead and turn on x-ray joints so that we can actually see our joint chain here just go ahead and move this back into place and we'll go ahead and select some joints or a joint here and just slowly move these back and I'm only doing this just so that we have a um, have the ability to actually have a, a clean pull vector constraint whenever we go to ahead and go ahead and actually get ready to go ahead and make that. Okay, so let's go ahead and jump to our leg here, and we'll draw the joint chain out the same way. Just making sure that we're going to have a clean joint chain here. And that's going to give us, you know, the right and correct deformation that we actually want whenever we go to skin that here. I'm not going to go ahead and skin it right now because um, I want to go ahead and actually make all of my control curves as well before I go ahead and do that. Just making sure that we're going to have that for the knee. We'll go ahead and move that back a little bit. Okay, and that looks fine. So let's come in here and you can see that I'm not actually renaming any of my joints and this is because Bender's joint chain here is fairly simple. There aren't necessarily going to be a lot of joints for us to to go ahead and rename um, just so that we can keep organized. But usually you would go ahead and actually rename those joints just so that you can keep organized. So let's go ahead here and mirror our joints. So we'll just jump up to our skeleton tab here. Take a look at our options box. Now you can go ahead and you know rename those as you mirror them but we don't necessarily have um, we didn't necessarily name them so we don't actually have to have namespaces in here the main thing here is make sure that you're doing this in the YZ axis and also for behavior so we'll go ahead and hit apply and there you can see that our joint chain has been mirrored okay let's do the same thing here for the arm okay and let's go ahead and draw out <coughs> what is going to be the last joints for us and this is basically going to be our foot control our reverse foot control so we'll start here at the back of the foot jump to the front of the foot and then we'll just draw this um, where the last joint is or you can always draw it here because this is pretty much we're gonna, where we're going to be placing our IK so if I hit enter and select that joint you can see where this is going to allow us to basically rotate that foot um, in both directions here we're also going to be able to give us like a yaw control for our foot so let's just go ahead here and move this over and we will go ahead and just make sure that we actually have that placed correctly here and I want to make sure that it's basically right on so we'll just go ahead here and mirror our joint for that as well okay you can see that I didn't, I'm not going to draw any joints out here for the body and that's because Bender's hard surface. He shouldn't necessarily be skinned or at least his body shouldn't be skinned and I don't want any squash and, or stretch actually on the body. Um, most of the time you would actually do that for cartoons but for Bender here I'm not going to go ahead and do that. We're just simply going to be um, adding a stretchy limb to the arms and to the legs. So now let's go ahead here and draw out some of our control curves here that we're going to need. And I'm simply just going to use a tool that I've written. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just move this off screen. 
if you want to script it uh, you can actually make yourself a lot faster to go ahead and draw um, control curves you can always download something like wizard controller from creative crash or um, I think I do actually have another one here which is the MZ controllers which is actually going to make it easier as well um, both of these are on creative crash and I'm sure if you go ahead and look you're going to be able to find them so let's go ahead here and draw it some of our control curves for bender here and we'll just start out simply with a box for his feet I'm just going to make sure that I go ahead and rename this here this is where renaming conventions actually going to, um, going to come into play and it's going to be very important here okay so let's just call this um, CC I'm just going to hit space and that's going to um, give us whenever I go ahead and hit enter after renaming this is going to give us the underscore here so we'll call this left leg okay and we'll go ahead and change the color here and typically I like to change the color to you know left is typically always blue and then if you want you know something for red on the right side and usually you will you will see rigs that are actually like that from one one side's blue and one side's red okay so I'm just gonna go ahead and open uh, another script here real quick oops that's the wrong one I can do this in a little bit here so let's go ahead and create the rest of our control curves here and this is going to signify what is going to be our elbow control here. So I just want to make sure that I snap it to the correct joint, just holding down V, snapping, snapping it to the uh, the joint, and then I'll just go ahead and move it back, and also make sure that I scale it. And you can see that I'm sort of going to leave that a little bit larger, and that's typically just so that people can go ahead and actually see that. So we'll go ahead and turn that one blue as well. And I'm just using a color changer script. And I'll also go ahead and include this um, in the <coughs> project file so that you guys can have that. Let's go ahead and create our shoulder control here. And we're just going to use an arrow for this. And all this stuff, like I said, you know, is fairly simple in terms of being able to go ahead and create this. Ner these nerves curves it's just making sure that you have the the right indication of nerves curves to have an animator at all these controls so we'll just go ahead and place this right where we need it to be let's go ahead and rename this CC left left shoulder making sure that we center the pivot and clear the history on that same thing here for the elbow control. We just want to go ahead and rename this CC left elbow. Go ahead and create another box here, and this is going to be our hand control. So let's go ahead and scale this up a little bit here. Just elongate it a little bit more. Just making sure that Bender's hand pretty much sits inside of that fine. So we'll call this. CC left arm. Go ahead and just turn that blue as well. And I mean, we don't have to go ahead and turn them blue all individually. We can simply do that, you know, at the end because I can go ahead and select all of them and then run the script. So let's create another one here for our top portion of our leg. Go ahead and just scale this down here. Just making sure that this is placed right underneath of Bender, just so that this is going to come into play whenever we go to attach um, our joints to the, the body here. So I'm going to call this CC left leg top. And you can see that I'm not necessarily doing that very cryptically. Um, I'm adding names to really signify exactly where it is and what it's going to be doing. Okay, so let's go ahead and create our knee shape here. And then we'll just hit V on our keyboard, snap it to what is going to be our knee joint. 
go ahead and move it out scale it down and that's probably out a little bit too far so that looks fine so we'll call this CC left knee okay and now we need to go ahead and create uh, what are going to be the last two main parts here for for the body so we'll go ahead and create another box go ahead and scale this up just making sure that we elongate it enough to to signify what is going to be our body curve and we'll just have to move this up just a little bit here okay go CC body main and let's go ahead and create one for our head just have to go ahead and scale this one this box up as well okay. just making sure that that's going to be placed properly here so we'll call this CC head we need to go ahead and create our eyes here so let's go ahead and where is my eye shape here go ahead and create an eye shape and we'll just snap this to what is the vertice on the eye okay so we'll go ahead and scale that down go ahead and hit control D to duplicate that I'm just gonna go ahead and move that over okay go ahead and move these out so these are gonna be our eye controls and I'm gonna go ahead and create a circle here Go ahead and just move that up. Jump into my front view here. Just making sure that I'm going to elongate this properly to encap encapsulate the eye CCs. And I'll go ahead and move this out. And that's fine. So now I want to go ahead and rename these. So we'll call this CC left eye. Call this CC right eye. go ahead and select all of these here and I want to go ahead and clear the history on all this stuff okay so now you can see that we're not going to have a um, any channel box attributes here okay so let's go ahead and start recoloring these so I'm just going to use this script and select it and then run the uh, the bottom line so let's select all the ones that we need to be blue here okay select our blue just hit our color rechange and you can see where those go ahead and um, change color select the body and the head control and we want to turn those yellow you don't have to turn them yellow you can basically turn them any color that you want but I tend to use yellow for at least for the body so I know exactly what's what here select our eye here change that blue change the main one here on the right to the eye change the main one to say something like green should be fine okay we'll select those two and parent those under the main eye control here so now whenever we select the main eye control the entire rig thing is actually going to go ahead and move okay so now we need to come in and mirror this stuff over for the right side um, there's a couple different ways that we can go ahead and do this but the one I like to go ahead and do here is we'll just go ahead and group all of these and then we'll just hit um, negative one in our scale X direction to go ahead and do that so let's go ahead and select all of these okay we'll duplicate them by hitting control D and then control G to group them and then just scale them in the negative one direction for X just making sure that we actually go ahead and scale that proper properly for the knee vectors as well as the the elbow vector constraint and it really should be backwards like that because this way you know exactly what it's controlling okay so we just need to go ahead and rename these and this is fairly easy so we'll just you know edit the name just changing the R um, the L's to R and making sure that we take out that number one okay 
do the same thing here for the elbow. For the hand. And the main goal of creating a, a control rig here is you just want to make sure that you give the anim animators an easy rig and um, to animate, but also an easy rig to to understand. You don't want to go ahead and create a rig that's so complex that they say, well, what the heck is this? You want to keep it, it fairly simple and fairly easy for them to go ahead and do here. So now we have everything renamed. Let's just go ahead here and select the entire group change it red and we'll go ahead and run the script and we might not actually be able to do that through the group we'll just have to go ahead and select all these individually and now with them all selected we can go ahead and change them red so there we have all of our NURBS curves created for for Bender's control rig um, in the next lesson we'll come back and continue working